Welcome to the second episode of my Ultimate Excel Dashboard Tutorial Series. This tutorial series is all about building this beautiful Excel Dashboard from scratch. In the first episode we already covered the building process of the basic interactive dashboard. So if you haven't watched that first episode yet you should definitely check it out. Now in this second episode we want to have a deeper look into the creation and integration of an outstanding background that is based on a beautiful image and a stunning gradient tile design. I'm gonna show you the best way to build these two crucial components and on top of that I will give you some inspiration regarding various gradient color combinations and concepts you can use to make your dashboard look beautiful and professional at the same time. So without further ado, let's get right into it. Before we start, you can download the whole basic dashboard Excel file for free on my brand new website excelfind.com. I recommend to check out the whole website because I prepared so many amazing Excel resources for you that will help you to bring your Excel skills to the next level. The clear focus of excelfind.com is practicality because I know Excel is a huge field and I want to provide you the opportunity to learn and use the really relevant and modern techniques and tools that will give you a huge leverage in your day-to-day -day work with Excel. Now for this huge dashboard we are building in this tutorial series there's basically only one thing you're gonna need and that is Microsoft Office 365. Because with it you will have the newest version of Microsoft Excel and that includes many features we use in our dashboard that are exclusively available with that Office version. I got a link for you in the description that leads you directly to the Microsoft Online Store where I also got it from. And yeah, what can I say, if you still have an older version, the upgrade is definitely worth it. For today's topic we're gonna start with the creation of a beautiful dashboard background. We're gonna do the design of both the background and the tile design in PowerPoint. Not because it ain't possible to do that in Excel, but just for the reason that it is much easier in PowerPoint because here we have all the tools to do this quickly and precisely. Now the main concept that is relevant for a visually appealing background and tile design is contrast. We want to create contrast between the background and the actual dashboard in a way that allows the viewer to fully focus on the dashboard content without being distracted by anything around it. There are multiple ways to achieve a good contrast. For this dashboard we want to make the background really dark and the tile design quite colorful. So let's start by inserting a nice high resolution image. You'll find the original source of that image in the corresponding tutorial post on excelfind.com. Just have a look in the description. The easiest way to make it darker is to right click on the image, go to the picture settings and in the picture correction section simply change the brightness to some negative number. Something around minus 80% is always a good reference value. And then we're gonna save it temporarily by right clicking and then selecting save as picture. Normally the PNG format is pre-selected by default and I recommend to use that. Now the important thing here is the image dimensions. Because when we're gonna set it as the background for our dashboard in Excel later, the dimensions of the image determine if the background image will fill out the whole background perfectly or alternatively if it will be either too big or too small so that it repeats itself and that is something we definitely don't want. So in my case the original image has a dimension of 920 times 1080 and the darkened version I created in PowerPoint and then saved it by default has a resolution of 999 times 1125. Well that seems to be a bit random but dimensions like this or close to this are working pretty good. Now that we have prepared that background image, let's start building the beautiful gradient tile design. We're gonna build that out of one single piece from which we're gonna take away some parts to create multiple single tiles. Yet it will still be one big shape and that is really crucial because that is the only way to have a gradient coloring going from one side of the dashboard to the other over all tiles. If we only had a group of single tile shapes, you could only color each of them separately. The first thing we want to do with our shape is formatting it. So we're gonna remove the line and change the fill to white. So just consider it to be a big canvas. And now we will remove certain parts of that big canvas to cut out single tiles. And the really helpful tool for doing this in PowerPoint are the so-called guidelines. 
You can insert them by right clicking in the area outside of your shape and there you see guides, which lets you choose between adding vertical or horizontal guides. Now these guides or rather guidelines will be no content of a slide. They are only an assisting tool, something similar to grid lines in Excel. So let's insert the first vertical guideline. And if we click on that guideline and hold it, you can see that we can move it to the right or the left and it will display the distance to the center as we move it around. Now this allows us to create precise orientations to cut out pieces along these guidelines. For our dashboard, they won't be perfectly symmetrical, but for a good reason, because we adjust it in a way that the content which has different volume from tile to tile will perfectly fit in later. Now let's also insert one horizontal guideline. And of course, if you want to make your tiles perfectly symmetrical instead, or make them all have the same size, you can do that and it could be easier with these guidelines. Before I start cutting out the single tiles, let me quickly show you the arrangement I have in mind. I want to have one tile here in the bottom left corner, then another one in the bottom center, then I want to have a big one that covers the top left corner and the top center, and the last tile will be another big one going from the top right corner to the bottom right corner. Let's cut out these tiles and for that we start by inserting another rectangle. We're gonna place it right on top of that horizontal guideline to kind of highlight the space that we want to cut out in order to separate our tiles. Once we have that one in place, we simply copy it, turn it around, make it a bit smaller and place it down there to separate these two areas. And we copy it one more time. This time we have to make it bigger again to get our big right tile separated from the rest. And now I'll show you the magic trick to transform that into our final tile design shape. Actually it is not that magic, but pretty amazing nonetheless. All we have to do is to first select the big white canvas shape, then we have to hold the control or command button and select our three blue separator shapes. And once you have all four selected, go to the shape format tab, which is already open up there. There you can see the merge shapes option and in there we want to select subtract. And boom, there we go. We got our perfect big shape with four separate tiles in it. And beside the fact that we now have one big shape, which allows us to apply a gradient style over all four tiles at once, the empty space between those shapes is also exactly the same and it took us way less time compared to arranging single shape tiles manually. That's pretty awesome. Now that our basic tile design shape is ready, let's have a look at different ways to color it beautifully with a gradient style. We will start with some stunning two color designs. For that, let's right click on the shape and select format shape. And in the fill section, we go with gradient fill. The default gradient fill obviously is one big mess, so let's start by removing those two colors in the middle. And then we change the angle to zero degree. For the first color combination, which is by the way the style we also use in our Ultimate Excel dashboard, we're gonna select black for the left color and violet for the right one. And then we change the transparency for both to 20%. Yeah, that's how easy it is, already looks pretty beautiful. To give you some inspiration, another beautiful two color combination is red plus violet. So let's replace the black by red to show you. That's obviously way more colorful and brighter and it can work out if you use the right content in these tiles. And another beautiful color I want to throw in is a green tone like this one for example. That really works good with color tones that have blue in them like that violet. Maybe that violet already has a bit too much red in it because never mix up green and red in a gradient design. But yeah, these are just a few quick examples for a two color gradient style for this tile design. Now let's also talk about three color gradient designs. My personal opinion is that three colors should be the absolute maximum and these three colors shouldn't differentiate from each other too much either. If you want to use three colors, there are basically two concepts I would suggest. Generally, for three colors, it's a nice idea to change the angle to 45 degrees 
so that these three colors go from the top left corner down to the bottom right corner. That works way better for three colors than for only two, because you have way better control over the color transition. Now, one way to select these three colors is to take the same color for both corners and a slightly brighter one for the middle part. I know black and gray are not necessarily bright colors, but this nice metallic look makes it still stand out from the background. And the second option is of course to make the third color not the same like the first one, but select the next logical gradient step. In this case it would be an even brighter gray. And of course you can always add transparency if you want. And just to show you a brighter and more colorful three color variant, let's choose three nice blue tones that make this tally sign become brighter the more you go to the bottom right corner. Beautiful, I really like that one as well. But as I said at the beginning, these are only some inspirations for you, at least for now. Because for the basic Ultimate XL dashboard, we're gonna go with the black violet design I created at the beginning. However, in this tutorial series, there will be one huge tutorial in which I will demonstrate how to build in a collapsible settings menu that, among other things, allows you to easily switch between multiple awesome color themes with only one click. The last part of this tutorial now is to transfer over and integrate the prepared background image and this beautiful tile design into our Excel dashboard file. We're gonna start with the background. For that we have to go to the Page Layout tab. There we first remove the grid lines and then click on Background. And that opens a file selection window where we select the darkened background image we just prepared. Again, you can see the dimensions of this image we got here. And awesome, it perfectly fills out the whole screen. Just as a side note, the current zoom level we have is 140%. So with the same settings and dimensions, you should be able to get the same result. Let's insert a rectangle as our header bar. This is where the dashboard title and later also our settings area button will be placed on. Then let's quickly copy over the tile design shape from PowerPoint insert it and position it in the center of the screen. And after that we're going to adjust the style of the header in a way that perfectly complements the dashboard tile design. That basically means we use the same gradient colors. Now we want the black area of the header bar to end approximately at the point where it also ends in the tile shape and since it is a bit wider we have to move that black color ticker a bit more to the right. Oh and of course we want to remove that line. There is only one easy last shape to add and this is another rectangle that will be the background section for the pivot slicers of our dashboard. We're gonna make this black. And now we have prepared a background and tile design for our Ultimate Excel dashboard that is simply beautiful and allows us to build such awesome dashboards on top like we already did in the first episode of the Ultimate Excel dashboard tutorial series. And if you want to know how to create this modern custom design for the pivot slicers that perfectly complements the whole dashboard design, that will be covered in the next episode of this tutorial series. And again, don't forget to go to excelfind.com for the free download of the basic Excel dashboard file. And don't miss out on all the other amazing Excel resources I got on there, like for example my huge databases about all relevant Excel functions and shortcuts. It is definitely worth a look if you want to significantly improve your Excel skills with only little effort. If you like this tutorial, let me know in the comments and subscribe if you haven't already. And don't miss out on the next video in this tutorial series. Cheers!